Welcome, sir, and thank you for gracing the occasion with your presence, and we cannot wait to hear from you. Excellency, my dear friend, the Indian Ambassador Sanjay, Excellencies, respected members of the Jain community, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to join you this morning at the Jain International Trade Organization, Dubai International Summit, which aims to explore investment opportunities and bridges between India and the countries of Africa and the MENA region. I'm glad that you are here in Dubai and hope that the vibrant atmosphere of the United Arab Emirates will energize your discussions and deliberations. I am very pleased today to recognize the way members of the Jain community around the world have distinguished themselves as successful traders, wise business leaders, productive industrialists, and highly competent performers in every professional field. Your community has always been committed to peace and the well-being of society. And you appreciate it better than most of the global economies, complexity, and the need for cooperation, for innovative thinking, and new ways to conduct business and finance. India and us, we're all proud of you. you. You represent your great country in the most excellent way. Thank you. I hardly support wholeheartedly support the premise of this summit that the growing links between private business, governments, and people of India, and the countries of Africa and the MENA region have great potential. Those countries are growing rapidly. There is a clear determination in India Africa and the MENA region to improve their business and economic environments, to promote growth and development, and to encourage cooperation with other countries of the world. My dear, you can sit down. A long speech. I'm sure there's somebody, a gentleman will give you a seat. There are also many initiatives to enhance the ability of all these countries to attract joint ventures and international investments. The presence of so many of you here this morning is a testament to the excellent business environment in Dubai and the United Arab Emirates under the leadership of His Highness the President, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and with the strong support of the, uh, the Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, national and regional growth is one of our most important priorities. The UAE has good and close trade and economic relations with virtually 
all countries of the world. We take our role in fostering regional and global development and cooperation very seriously. We wish to succeed for our sake, of course, but we also strive to provide an economic model that other nations may wish to employ, and we do learn from others as well. We recognize that economic prosperity is the foundation of a successful society and is essential for improving the quality of life of its people. Dear friends, your summit is a call for the business communities in India and the countries of Africa and the MENA region to partner for success. It is important to recognize that managing investment and capital flows on a large scale between India and those countries requires persistence and obviously hard work. It is clear this hard work must be accompanied by appropriate social initiatives, greater emphasis on ethical and transparent transactions, and expansion of individual and institutional participation in all joint ventures and investments. I look forward to your discussions about how to attain more integration between India and the countries of Africa and the MENA region. In particular, how to build stronger business and economic links to promote regional trade and investment. How to strengthen the private sector on all sides of Increase its, uh, part, to increase its participation in national and regional development, and in turn, in the global economy, of course. How to manage globalization while sharing in the benefits of modern technologies. How to build and strengthen the institutions that make economic cooperation possible, how to take advantage of the emerging and growing special place of India, Africa, and the MENA region in the world economy, and as an important component of this effort, we must consider how to train and develop business leaders, indeed, in Africa and in India and in the MENA region in order to realize their full potential in terms of economic, social, and human development. Such leaders must have the ability to adapt to changing business environments, and they must develop the skills needed to break through barriers and build relationships across borders. The value of this summit lies in the attention you give to all these important issues. I share your conviction that cooperation, creativity, transparency, and competitiveness strengthen our ability to provide useful, aware, uh, useful answers and approaches to this task and help us maintain strong, growing economics and stable societies. I wish you the very best for a successful summit. I am hopeful as well that our distinguished guests uh, from abroad will enjoy their time in Dubai and the United Arab Emirates I take this opportunity to wish all of you and all the people of great India prosperity and continued well-being in the many years to come. 
win the United Arab Emirates, proud and value our this great relationship between India and UAE, and hope that the excellent relations between our two countries will continue to grow and be stronger for productive uh, result and economic development between our two countries. I also take this opportunity to greet Africans uh, who are here, uh, there's a many ambassadors uh, in attendance here this morning, and to express my deep appreciation of the close and during relationship between uh, the United Arab Emirates and uh, all African countries. Oh, I wish you all the best and uh, successful summit. My best wishes to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.